I'm, I'm just going to briefly talk about the certification program and uh, the tools um, that we have uh, to serve that pillar. Um, and then we'll, we'll have a, a lunch break. Uh, feel free to bring your lunch and come back. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be, it's short, hopefully it'll be short and sweet. So the certification program, it's uh, the third uh, pillar of OCF. Um, many of my colleagues have touched on that before. Um, it, 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 it is important to OCF as uh, OCF intends to serve as a trusted um, brand to ensure secure interoperability, uh, regardless of uh, vendors. And uh, within OCF, we have the certification work group, and they are the ones who define the procedure and the requirements and the status of uh, all these tests and whether some of them are optional or required or, or conditionally required. Um, all of these informations uh, can be found in uh, three different uh, documentations, which are the cer certification test requirement and the certification procedure requirements, and finally, the certification requirements status list. Uh, there are uh, uh, two main tools that you would, ne you would uh, need uh, to know um, for the sake of certifications, um, which is the conformance test tool um, and the OCF uh, certification management system. The conformance test tool uh, is free uh, for OCF members. Um, if, you are, if you are a member, it's also free for basic members. Which and if you log into the members uh, portal, you go, to the, you go to the certification tab and you find the download button. And it's a uh, Windows based right now. Before you can use the uh, OCF conformance test tool, you need an input file to it. And we call that PIX. Uh, it's actually industry standard. Uh, and in order to get that file, you go to the OCF um, certification management system which is a web-based. And I'm going to quickly guide you through how to use it. So this is the link, uh, cms.openconnectivity.org. You go there, you, lo you log in or create an account. If you create an account, um, just make sure to use your company's email that is a member with OCF. Um, Otherwise, you won't be able to create an account. Um, and then you, once you have an account, you click on Create OCF Product, and you'll have a form that you fill out the form. Uh, and this is the form, and I'm just going to quickly walk, walk you through it. There will be information about the product, uh, versioning, the hardware and the software, and the firmware. Um, information about the operating systems, the serial numbers, and uh, the IP version. Uh, so with OCF, uh, to have your product certified, you have to enable IPv6. Um, you could also enable IPv4, but you cannot enable only IPv4. Uh, you can select which uh, physical interface. and the IOTivity version that you are using, and uh, IOTivity and OCF standards are completely independent. You don't have to use IOTivity at all. If you want, you can codify uh, the standards um, by yourself. In fact, uh, last uh, PlugFest, we have five different implementations of the standards. Uh, and then you select the OCF specifications and the resource model you want, and whether you, you support Wi-Fi easy setup or not. If so, there are additional information to fill out. 
and whether you support uh, the notification and then the observ observable resource. And uh, also sometimes there are certain countries that prohibit uh, powering off equipment remotely. Uh, so uh, something to keep in mind, you have to kind of note. Um, and where you want to deploy your product and uh, which uh, certification requirement status list um, you're conforming to, what are the roles, is your, is your device uh, a client or a server, um, and um, whether you are supporting the, some of the optional core resources. Um, Finally, you would uh, need to select uh, the device type um, and also certain device types would require certain resource types and uh, you have to make these selections. Um, and this is gonna be done for you automatically once you select the device type. The required resource types will be automatically selected. Um, And once you fill out all this information, you can say create picks, and that picks what you're gonna be using as an input to the OCF conformance test tool. Um, yeah, so the, uh, this is available to you before you even send it to the authorized test labs. This way, um, when you send your product to the authorized test lab that will be testing your product, you will be certain it's gonna pass because you have the same tools they do. So, so you can pre-test your product before you send it and if it passes on your end, there is a very likelihood it's going to pass in the authorized test lab. Okay, so I talked. Everything, okay, so it looks like this is it. Uh, do you have any questions about certification or any of these tools? It, w it would be really impressive if you get to the point where you're thinking about certifying your product out of a hackathon. But, you know, I mean, I mean, clock was able to finish one in 50 minutes, so. You have 24 hours. <laughs> All right, guys, I wish you best of luck and please uh, ask me for any help you want. Uh, I will we'll do the best to make this a success story. <laughs>